Mates, welcome to episode 12 of Started From The Bottom. Boop, boop, boop. Today, not going to be any gameplay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the club so far. At the time of recording this video, it is FIFA Friday, which means FIFA 18 is out worldwide. It is the 29th of September as I am recording this video. So this is just after a week of playing give or take early access and uh, the early release of FIFA. So I wanted to show you where we are after a week. The record, not happy about the record whatsoever, whatsoever. Majority of those losses have come from playing the AI on Legendary. Granted, I've seen other videos where people are going, look at me, I'm alien. We are playing some of these games on Legendary with my second the Liga team with dodgy fitness, with dodgy players. Granted, that's not an excuse. Um, it's just to show that, you know, you can't... Com that's like comparing... Sorry about that. That's like comparing oranges with dumper trucks. Yeah? If you've got, you know, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho up front and you're beating the computer on Legendary, respect. I have Loic Remy and, you know, whoever. Anyway, so enough of that. So majority of our losses have come from uh, the AI on Legendary. We haven't qualified for foot champions yet. We still have a week left. Fingers crossed we do qualify. It's not looking good at the moment. Uh, so again, some of what four or five of those four of those losses have came from the foot champions qualification. And two of those losses have come from online seasons. So that's 13 losses so far for the AI on legendary. That's a lot. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you where we are. I wanted to be a couple of uh, days behind so that it doesn't mess up any of my investments if it does, uh, if the investments do come to fruition. Hopefully, fingers crossed today, we don't know. Hopefully, there is the SBC from Mane. We won't be doing that because we won't have the coins, but hopefully we will be able to sell some of the players that we have accumulated to get that coin balance up, to help us improve our teams, to help us improve our second team greatly because that's costing us, and to add a few more players to the main team. Otherwise, we are not going to qualify for foot champions, which would be a disaster. So, this is where we are in terms of coinage. We are on 6,659 coins. Not a lot, but we have got a lot of good stuff. So, if we look on the transfer list, I just want to show you what's been selling. Akpalas again. We love those Akpalas. We love those Akpalas. Selling again for... Uh, sorry, buying again for 150, 200 coins. And selling 1200, 1700, 1800. Then, the, then I got a little bit scared because a couple just started to go and like flood the market. So then I just tried to get rid of the investment as much as I could. I know I was only investing 150, but I was still making profit, so I was happy with that. So we sold that one for 450, we sold that one for 700, we sold that one for 700, we sold that one for 700. So that's the at Palace. We've still got a few more at Palace to sell. Navas, we were buying Navas for under 4,000 coins. Let me just show you what we decided to not bid on, or what we what we decided not to fight for the bid. So that one expired at 4,100 coins. Currently at the time, I think his buy it now is just under 6,000. And for an 85 rated La Liga card, that's pretty cheap. If 
the Mane SBC does come out later. There will be ones to watch in packs as well. So there's going to be a lot of packs, uh, pack openings. Probably this might go down. There might be a lot of big pulls from people. It might go up because people need them for the SBC. It might stay where it is. So it's just a gamble at this, at this stage. But I've just thought that, you know, I could try and make money off that. So we sold um, Navas for six. One was it? No, six nine. There's the at Palace. We paid three fifty for him. We paid six hundred for him. Uh, this one, Bertels, we managed to get for. Let me just check. Twelve hundred coins, and we managed to sell him for five thousand four hundred. Because as people are, are getting the game. They're going to need them kind of cards for the SBCs that we have already completed. So, you know, if you're looking to invest in those SBCs at the moment, it's probably a little bit too late. So I'm lucky for those people that have just purchased FIFA today. Uh, but we did good business on that. The Agni. This one was a little bit of a risk when we purchased it. So we managed to purchase him for, I think we purchased a couple for, uh, what did we pay? Yeah, 750. So we, so we bought a couple for 750. Then I got a little bit scared because he was going for the same amount of money. So I just sold one for 1400 when I saw the opportunity where there wasn't any there. Now the reason that he might be valuable is because he might be needed for the SBC Mane. Now by the time you've watched this, the SBC, if it does come out, will have already been out. I might look completely foolish now and it's not anything to do with this video whatsoever. But at the time of recording this, I don't know or we don't know what is on the SBC. We don't know if the SBC is definitely coming. So everything is just a little bit of a gamble at the minute, but it's probably worth it. So if we just have a, just a quick look now to see... What he's worth on the market? Yeah. Okay, not bad. So two, one thousand seven hundred. Right, so one thousand seven hundred. So we could sell him now, or one thousand six hundred, and we purchased him for uh, we purchased him for seven fifty. So we'd make just under a thousand coins. But we're going to keep on to him because I think he might be valuable for the SBC. Fingers crossed, I'm right. Fingers crossed, I don't look foolish. Uh, then we decided to have you've, you've seen this in previous videos but this is just to show you we've got quite a few 83 84 rated players in the club uh, we have another Navas which we paid for around about the same money so we can then shift Navas if we need to but I just want to show you the really good deals uh, Horn we paid 1700 for now at the time of purchasing these I think that's it for an 84 rated Bundesliga card I think that's a good deal uh, we bought a couple of him. Uh, Lopez is for an 83, 700 coins. We bought shed loads of him for 700 coins. Close to discard. If we don't sell him, we discard him. We don't lose that much. Nobody cares. Uh, Ruli, round about the thousand ish. What else do we pay for that one? Round about 950, a thousand. So again, I think we can make money on that. We've still got an Ndidi and a Rokamesa to uh sell if we need to or we paid a little bit extra for that one two one i think i got excited on that one we got another diagne uh we have carvalho we paid 700 for an 83 rated card you can't be angry at that the diuffs uh and the senegalese players we've tried again to try and see if we can sell for the mana sbc if it comes hope we're right if we're not we'll just discard or sell them for cheap loads of lopezes uh, 84 rated Bundesliga again. Berkey we paid at 1,400 coins for. Can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Patricio we paid a thousand. Little bit overpriced, but we did need him for an SPC. So my thinking was that people that are getting the game today, uh, obviously as I said, this is being recorded on the release of the game. They might need him for an SPC. So I thought we could make a little bit of money on them. Loads of Lopez's, same Berkeys, all for around about the same kind of price. Uh, and then these cards, which we paid, what, minimum 300, uh, 300, um, yeah, 300, 350 coins for, let's just see what he's going for. Yeah, so, I mean, might be worth sticking him on for a grand or something, just 
try and make a little bit of extra coinage. But if people are bidding him, there might be a reason he's needed. So we might 350 coins. We were just better off holding. We might need him ourselves. Again, 350. Again, 350. Let's see what he's going for. Yeah, so we tried to sell him for 1800 because that was what the market was going at the time. But he didn't shift. Now his price seems to have dipped a little bit. Um, but... 350 coins is it worth selling him we might need him for an SBC so that's why I didn't really steam so we're just yeah we're gonna keep him so that's where the transfers looking at the moment uh, the targets we've been like, going for see here that Navas wish we would have picked up another one of him for cheap he was looking at Glick as well but then he started to tail end a little bit too much or taking the risk because I didn't have a lot of coins at the stage probably made a little bit of a mistake not giving myself enough coins to invest but I have invested so you know you can't can't win both ways so five six he went for there uh, now I, I'm gonna I'm not gonna go higher than four and a half for him because I think he might be in a lot of packs if people are opening for the uh, ones to watch uh, we missed that at Pala for 200. Uh, great. Right, Zabaleta, we tried to. We, we, we kept trying to pick up Zabaleta, but then he started to tail end. Again, this might be because of the Mane SPC. Um, uh, I'm not too sure if it's worth. Right, we'll just bid on that one. We'll just see what that one goes. Because I don't think it's worth shooting too much into him. Because we've also, we've always, you know, we've already got quite enough coins invested. Right, so once that went past a thousand with Diangli, we didn't bother purchasing him anymore. Uh, we tried to get Barzagli, but we couldn't. We tried to get that Navas, but we couldn't. We oh, we just got outbid on that Zabaleta. Right, Hernandez, we were setting ourselves a limit of about five, six hundred coins on Hernandez. Um, we'll bid on that one because um, he's French in La Liga. And he plays for Real Madrid. Only downside is he's only a 75 rated. But I think that's profit in there. Then we purchased some Falcaros. Around about the 1500 coin mark for each one. For an 84 rated La Liga player. Cannot be mad at that. 1500 for that one. 1200 for that one. 1500 for that one. Uh, and 1100 for that one. Then we decided to go for some high-ish Premier League rated players. So we was looking at Silva or Man City. Again, this is all with the Mane SPC in mind. I hope by the time this video comes out, I was right. If not, I'm going to look pretty foolish. Uh, let's see what he's going for at the moment. What do we pay? Three, three, three. We paid. 3, 3, 5. Right, so we're in profit. We are in profit on the silver, but we're going to keep him. Place him on transfer list. So we're going to keep him. Let's see if we can tail end any more money out of it. Hopefully. For the SBCs. Uh, silvers, yes. Yeah, so we bought three of him. The three four and three seven all in profit <coughs> now uh the contracts are becoming a bit of an issue i've been doing a few bronze packs here and there to try and get one contract one contract it was annoying me a little bit so i just tried to pick up any cheap managers that i can to give us the contract uh, the contract bonus so you know rather than the contract cards that we put on be worth what it says it worth the more managers and stuff we have in the club that gives you the negotiation bonus up to 50 percent you get three percent negotiation bonus for each manager uh the more managers you have in the club up to 50 percent that'll give us our contract bonus so we're just trying to pick up a few managers here and there while we can we missed out on that one for 700 and again there you go some more managers so zabaleta is eight minutes left and it's got uh 500 bid on it so we'll watch that later so that's where we are in terms of uh transfers and stuff like that just to show where the coins are in the club we have 369 odd players 
uh, you know, loans and stuff like that. We'll just have a quick scuzzy. So we still haven't used most of the loans that we've got yet. Wanted to save them. We have the pat pools. We have the players that we purchased that we sent to the club. We still have Koulibaly to sell. We have Kashani if we can keep him or sell him. Not too sure what we're going to do. We have Salah and we have Dembele uh, to sell. Let's see what he's going for. He was about 50. Uh, right, so he's probably bottomed out a little bit. I think, I think he might just stabilise at that. But I'm still not too sure if I want to play him. But I've kept him fresh at the moment in case I do want to sell him. Again, with his one-to-watch card, he won't be in packs for the first weekend league. However, his one-to-watch card won't be as valuable because he's picked up a major injury, so he won't be playing to be able to upgrade the card at this stage in the game, which is a bit of a shame. We have these, we have the minimum bought players. We have our Bakayoko. If you haven't, check out the review of Bakayoko on the channel. Add, hashtag add. Uh... And then a few players here and there, which you would have seen from previous videos from PAX. Uh, about it. Yeah, and then, and then we descend into, you know, just 77, 76, 75 rated players. Quite a lot of bronzes in the club from doing bronze method. So all of those players aren't good players. A lot of them are bronzes, but hopefully they might come, uh, become useful. In the future player stats so far let's see where we are on goals doesn't really mean a lot uh because it's obviously offline play but we are playing legendary on squad battle so that's not bad players played 15 scored 21 ben Yedda 23 22 i would have liked this to be uh, separated between offline and online not happy with the record being the same with online and offline i'd like to know what these players are doing online offline um you know, you, you know, you can look at Vaya and you can go, man, what a return on that card, right? But that could have been a single player season against a computer that we had to do for uh, the daily objectives. That could be a world-class squad battles game. That could be a, you know, if you're playing on amateur, you know, so you could get like 400 goals of him. What I need to, see, what I'd like to see, is a difference between online and offline because at the minute these records mean useless. You know, people can go, oh man, look at this, Ronaldo's an absolute beast and he's got 49 goals. But if it's all offline, what, what, you know, what's the point? Like, so that's that. Uh, what else have we got? Showed you the transfer. Showed you where the coins are. That's the players are rocking at the minute. There you can see we've been playing with the La Liga team. Uh, there you can see we struggling for the contracts. We're struggling for fitness. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to pick up. I'm going to try and pick up as many fitnesses and as many um, contracts as possible for the like the 100, the, the the 150, 200 for the contracts, and then as minimum as I can for fitnesses uh, because it's becoming a little bit of a problem. And I want to try and play with the best team and the best fitness that I can to try and qualify for uh what champions but the problem is I either have to play my second team on a game so I can get fitness on my other team or I have to just put one fitness card on halfway through and it, or something like that or fitness on a couple of players and then try and rock with a team with minimal fitness in a final and so far with the semi-final and the final, that hasn't gone very well. Uh, in terms of squad battles, we are on gold one. Still got three games left to play of that. Uh, and then the daily objectives. So, that's basically the club. What we will do now is we managed to get the 10 games for the Let's Keep It Going. Just to get this out of the way. So, we've done the brick slots. Done the correct position and we've done the perfect links. Now we just have to submit the loyal lads. So once we've done that, that's where we will end this episode. It was just, episode, it was just a quick episode just to show you a club tour. Um, again, like I've said, we are a couple of days behind. So this is being filmed on the uh, launch of FIFA. So this is being filmed uh, uh, yeah, on the launch of FIFA. This is being filmed on the 29th of September. So whenever you're watching this, uh, you know, obviously the club will have progressed by the time of life. 
Also, you will see the uh, games tally go up and down here and there. I'm not going to show every single game. Otherwise, every single game will end up being squad battles. Just assume that I will be playing squad battles every single day. Just assume that if a daily objective requires you to play a single season, I will be playing that. I will show you online seasons and I will show you uh, foot champions and tournaments and stuff like that. And if there's any highlights of squad battles, I will show you that. But I'm not going to show every single game of squad battles because it will just become tedious. I'll probably show the tail end or a fourth game or something like that. But we will see that when we go uh, further on. So we submit that. For that, you do need uh, loyalty on each player. We complete that SBC. We get two silver players for that. And then we receive a premium loan reward. Oh well, not the best, but we've got it out of the way. We go and open that. Fills two silver players first. We get Dion Tarat. Is it worth anything? Oh, it's untradeable. So we send those to the club. And then our loan player is... Oh well. So, that's where we will leave today's episode. Just wanted to show you the club tour, show you where we are. That's only a week of progress. Yes, the record isn't that good. Yes, we are getting battered by Legendary, uh, by the AI on Legendary. Yes, we will get better. Yes, we do need to improve the teams. Yes, we do need to qualify for Foot Champions. Hopefully, all of that happens soon. If it doesn't, you're going to see me shout. But whatever, it's going to be worth watching. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Share it among your friends. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at QuickStopHicks. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, in a bit.